welcome back to the garage. All right, so um, got something new. So you know this has a ZX10 swap or conversion. Uh, so does this one, and when you do that, you lose the uh, speedometer cable for the factory speedo. Um, it's this is a gear driven, and the ZX10 has it inside the or on top of the back because it's a it's crank driven crank sensor. So, Coso speedometer. This is the exact one that I used. Uh, makes a kit to where you can run a speed sensor on your front rim with a little bar out there with magnets inside the bolts. And it's a little screen. Now, of course, um, people who have ZX7s, you know, you know this is not factory. Does it look, you know, it's, it's where it comes from. This comes in there, takes it out, whatever. So I took it out. <clears throat> I had to see if I could make it work, and of course it did. Uh, hit the key, lights up. There it is. Of course, you have your odometer. Um, <clears throat> a neutral last on because it's not a neutral. Okay, I'm put it in neutral. And this light comes on. So, uh, all these lights still work, uh, except for the high beam. The freaking wire broke. Uh, the high beam light will work on this, the blinkers work on this. Uh, that has that. This thing has a whole bunch of stuff you can do. Um, only bad thing about where I have it at right now. So there are two buttons on the side, right here and right here. On the, of course on the controller. It's, sorry, on the controller itself, I can't reach. So basically, if you're gonna do this, um, you need to program it outside or before you put everything back on. Um, so for people who have ZX7 and might want to do this, um, it looks like a rat's nest, but I did zip tie everything. Uh, kind of just up and out of the way, so it's not just all dangling. Um, there's, of course, just the headlights. But it has very detailed instructions. Um, I, I should have taken a video while I did it, but I, I mean, I hate wires, and I didn't want to um, misinform anybody just because, you know, just do it, on your, do it on your own if you think you can. But it comes with these little connectors. I hate these connectors. I absolutely hate them. Um, only because if anybody's ever used them, you, you probably know why, but. They have this little bar in the middle. Sorry, let me use the GoPro. Uh, they have this little bar in the middle. And when you clamp it down, there is a chance that you will cut the wire completely through. And that's what happened to my high beam light. Luckily, it was just a, my high beam and nothing else. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Uh, that's what they send you, so that's what I used. Now, of course, if you're better, you know, you can cut the wire, uh, open it back up. Just to expose the wire, solder it all together, heat shrink, you know, the whole nine. If that's what you want to do. That's not what I wanted you to do. Let's sit back down. Um, so, of course, these three, there's three Phillips heads. There's one right here, one in the middle. Take this little thing off. There are three 8 millimeter bolts here, here, and there's one under here. You take those off. Uh, the cluster will come off. Then you just got to unplug it to remove it. When you unplug it to remove it, there is um, a couple of Phillips heads around that will remove this outer body this outer shell from the whole cluster itself so when you do that um, everything is exposed now before you do that you got to take off the this is where the speedometer cable screws into uh, it's probably not gonna focus but okay so this is where the speedometer screws into you get a couple of uh, Phillips head screws take this out this pops right off uh, this is how you reset the odometer and stuff. This has one small Phillips head screw in there. You gotta take that off. Then the shell will come off. Once the shell's out, there was very little trimming that I had to do um, on the inside. It, it basically it wanted to fit in there perfectly. Only thing is, like this, you're not you you're not able to see the the LED blinkers or the, I guess the the telling you that your blinker is on. I'm okay with that. Um, if you wanted to trim a little bit, I wanted this to still be kind of like a, a watertight seal, although the back is more open than it would have would have been from factory. Um, but I just this is how I like it, and it's it looks pretty factory. You know, I don't know if you've ever seen a 0607 ZX10. It's similar, of course. It's not. I say similar. It's, okay, whatever. It looks way better than uh, if, if I had just this dangling somewhere or had it screwed into you know whatever. It looks. I think it looks pretty decent. So, 
Um, there is a few standoffs inside of here that you have to kind of uh, cut to trim. Um, basically, you, you lose two mounting screw uh, holes that mount this or that mounts the back to this. But I mean, there's, there's literally, I think, five or six all together, so two isn't really that big, that big of a deal. Um, everything still works. This is how you... Regardless, this is how you... This wire goes all the way down... Uh, to the speed sensor and that's how it, it tells you how fast you're going um, it plugs into that this plugs into here and um, one second my wife's got it uh, it plugs into that and uh, gives you a read off now if I would have known what I know now when I bought this there is a GPS sensor that you can buy that you don't have to run any wires none of this None of the magnets, none of the spacing out, none of the calibrating. Literally plug the GPS sensor in, but it's another hundred. This is this is one thirty, um, and the GPS sensors are one was one fifty. So you know, but uh, to be honest, if you're gonna do that, you might as well buy the whole Coso, the Coso uh, dash and everything that gives you the RPM readout, the, the whole nine. Uh, this one does not. This one literally just the speed. It will give you. Uh, I don't have it wired up because the X7s don't have a fuel gauge. It'll give you the fuel. Uh, the odometer reading, trip setting, voltmeter. Um, there's seven settings. Oh, and a, and a clock. It gives you the clock also. But that's that's basically it. Uh, this plugs into here, and boom, you're done. So, oh, why I paused earlier? Okay, now I remember. I had I thought I had this unplugged, but I forgot. I after I made sure the speedometer worked, I ran it correctly, and because uh, I'm fixing with the front spring, no spring back on, because I'm done. Um, for ZX7 people only. I don't know if this is like this on the early model ZX7, but I know for the P model for a fact. The white... The white is a constant 12 volt. So it'll tell you in the, in the instructions that you need a 12 volt for that. That's where you go. The brown is a 12 volt when the key switch is flipped on. So that's that. And the rest you need to figure out yourself. But that's it. That is it installed. Uh, like I said, you can't get to those buttons. So I guess if you wanted to, I don't know, reset your trip settings or whatever, you know, you can't until you take it back apart. Uh, the odometer, it will let you adjust it to where you can match it to what your bike had before. So I don't have it because this is not the even original odometer that come with this bike. So I didn't set the 43,000, 40, yeah, 42,000 miles on there. I just left it at zero just because, you know, I know I'm going to be keeping this bike forever. So I don't have to explain to anybody why it has, you know, 15 miles on it when I'm, obviously there's way more. That is it. And apparently uh, BMC air filter flows better than k &N. I don't know how, but they do. So that's it. I'm signing off. Talk to you all later.